Cool, cool, cool. We are on to game 96. As I type it in, um, F1 World Grand Prix. Here it is. I got the box for it. Look at me go. It's been a minute since we had a game with the box. It, I know it glares pretty hard because of the box protector. And it, you can just see chat in it. But uh, there's not much to see. It's cars. Ultimate racing experience. Two players simultaneous. Designed for the Rumble Pack. Uh, F1 World Grand Prix straps you into the driver's seat as you experience the high octane rush of an actual Formula One season. Complete uh, in the World Championship. 22 drivers, 17 courses. Official product licensed by Formula One administration. Select real drivers, such as uh, Michael Schumacher. Real physics. That's it. Yes. Beautiful. I love some crunchy MIDI guitar. Let's see what it's got. Burp. Let's go. 96th game. Exhibition Grand Prix. Ooh, it is. It's crunchy. It's crunchy. So we're just going to do Grand Prix. Ooh, look at these real people. I guess I'll be file four. Skill level, I, I, I'm i pretty rookie. Controller transmission, sure. Okay. Music selection, replay, intro. Fanfare? Fanfare? What? Okay. What am I doing? What happened? I'm playing? Okay, I was lost in the menus. I guess I was starting. Round one. Australia! Oh, there's shell ads. Love it. Friday practice, Saturday practice, qualifying, warm-up, Grand Prix. I guess we should go into practice first and see what the buttons are. Ooh. Um. Ooh, this game's kind of ugly. Ooh, this game's pretty ugly. Everything's so flat. Like the crowd and the trees Bridgestone. Why is there no music? I've we've had this issue with racing games before. I don't care if it's supposed to be like a realistic simulation racer put some music over it like come on like i am always gonna dock a ga game for that like you made music for the menus just make a couple of tracks even if it's like three tracks to play during races like give me something to work with like, even if I really like the racing, which it's fine, I'm not an F1 guy, the lack of music is just upsetting. Let me try some other buttons. Okay. Oh, ooh. There we go. Look at those, those JPEG hands. What the sound of a vacuum cleaner for three minutes straight. This is a weird camera angle. Yeah, 
I will say the um, brake assist is definitely helping. It is making me slow down to an appropriate speed so I don't absolutely obliterate myself into the wall, which is appreciated for people like me who are not F1 guys and don't exactly know how to take a turn in an F1 um, vehicle. I can still play the game without constantly wrecking. All right. Whoop. But yeah, no, this game is, this game is pretty ugly. Ugly and there's no music. We'll see how an actual race goes. Maybe only practice doesn't have music. We can hope. We can hope. Coca-Cola. R and Z seem to do nothing. Or maybe that's break. No. B is break. A is gas. Two laps to go. Oh. There's there's not really crash physics. Yeah. That's a shame. Look at that still image. Yeah, physics aren't great. Now that I realize you can just bump and you just keep going. It doesn't matter. Sound options? Music. 100. Oh, car effects. Ooh, turn that down to 50. Thank you. Oh, that's way better. But then it's just quiet. But then it's just quiet and there's nothing going on. See, like, come on. Like, this is totally fine music. All right, Grand Prix. Let's just get in there. So I can do awful. Beautiful. Yeah, there's no music. Why would, why? Why would, why would no music? stay out of the grass and I get like a part of it is that I I'm not I don't care about f1 stuff um so like even if this like I could ex like understand if it was a good game overall and maybe at the time this was good for what it was but like come on overall judging it overall not letting biases touch it it's kind of lame and i understand i am not good at the game Magnuson, five seconds ahead. oh i'm catching up okay let's lock in and actually do decent Whoa. Okay, sir. <laughs> he just did a 180. You know, I think there's two NASCAR games on the N64 that we'll eventually get to. And my dad used to play those, but on the PS1. 
I remember those having music. I hope they do on N64. I know the N64 is limited when it comes to music and sound and stuff, especially if you're trying to do like licensed music or anything, but you have something, some little tune. Oh, okay, that's the look behind button. Understood. Look over your shoulder. I am in 17th at the top right position, lap two. Is there that many people? Just ruined the race for everyone else by driving bad. Come on. Get out of the way. And like, I'm always going to prefer a game like, like a rally racing game or something where there's like bumps in the road and like more natural terrain and stuff. Than just a a race track like some of those v rally games and stuff in top gear they're good racing games on here there's quite a few top gear games i think we played one or two of them so far i'm falling apart Yeah, no, you can just bump. It's fine. It's all fine. No worries. There's really not much to say. It is what it is. I used to play pole position, like the arcade, old arcade game, the Namco game, a lot as a kid. I had fun with that. But I mean, again, that's an arcadey racing deal. Okay, one more. Yeah, I just, I feel like you would have to be really into F1 and also probably be in uh, the year like 1999 simultaneously have both of those boxes checked and you probably could have a solid time with this I guess but again even at the time I'd rather play like Top Gear or something if I'm going to play like a more realistic racing game yeah, I didn't even double check what year this game came out Yeah, I mean, even if they don't have items, I, I'm going to prefer my games to be more arcadey, you know? And not just super simulation. Whoa. But again, at the end of the day, at least give me some music to listen to while I'm racing. The fact that I'm like, all right, let me, let me go into the settings and turn down the sound of my car. So that's because it's all you get to hear. Now 
we don't need to play back. Continue. Round two. Brazil. I'll take a look at it, but I don't think there's much uh, much more blood to be retrieved from this stone. Seventeen. Oh, are they like modeled realistic? Like these are actual like F1 circuits. It seems like it might be that. My timer has stopped. No. Why? It froze. It froze. No. Hold on. Wait. No. Good eye. Thank you so much. Oh, geez. Come on. There we go. Fixed. Thank you. Let's let's see what another track looks like, but yeah, it's not looking great. I don't know why the, the timer has started freezing up every now and then recently. It, it didn't do that for like the first 200 hours, I feel. Maybe once. I'm trying to give this game a fair shake. But it's, I am, I'm just bobs. Uh, I'm just bouncing off of it super hard. have become too much for it to handle. Yes, I looked away at chat. Um, it's in the 200s now. Kind of nuts. And we're only a third of the way through. I expect we'll... I don't think we'll hit a thousand. But I expect to finish in the 800s. You know, by the end of it all. Maybe not even that much. A lot of the games that are left are games like this that, you know, take less than an hour to see. But there are a few games that are going to be, you know, 20 plus hours by themselves. It's a mixed bag. Yeah, the long games will add a lot. I think we only have three, off the top of my head, three more games that are actively long games. Like Harvest Moon was. But we can spread those out, you know? Like, no more than five of those, and there's, like, 190 other games to, to look at. That'll be five hours or less each. Like, I feel like I'm not too far off saying that half, a full 50% of the games remaining will be an hour tops each. 
Six seconds ahead. Larini's right behind you. Hills out. I think this game might be done after this race. I I think we've seen all we can see. This turn every time. I still have to get the last seven games I need for the collection. I mean, if we hit the point that we've played everything I owned, that's a that's a big incentive to really try to get one of those last games. Luckily, we still got a while before that, but I'm going to try to get back to doing N64 once a week like we used to as, since we took a little break. As well as um, trying to get Ash to come on more like we did over the past week for some other co-op streams. Two seconds ahead. We're still working on getting that all set up effectively. I know we had some mic issues last time. Bumped you missed the first one. Well, we're going to do more, so don't worry. We are absolutely going to do more. We want to do more active co-op, and Ash wants to pick a game and have me coach her through it as she is, like, playing a single-player game that I know but she's never played, and I'll just kind of help her go through it for the first time. We definitely want to do that as well. We don't know what game yet. Yeah, Ash, Ash need to, needs to pick a game so that we can do it. We will definitely be taking any suggestions if people have something they would actively like to see. But the two of us need to just go down to my, my wall of games and look through. I'm not going to try to backseat super hard I, I'm going to be there so that it can be a more enjoyable experience for both her and anyone watching you know keep her from getting lost or things like that especially if we play more open games you know we'll see how it goes plus with me just having more experience in front of the camera for just commentary behind the gameplay while she plays. Yeah, this game... Woof. Woof. I think we're good. It's, um... Here, let me load whoever played this. There's a save on the cartridge. Oh, we can watch the credits. Hey, we got we hit the credits. That's so weird that <laughs> you you can load your save file, but all it does is load the credits to watch if you've beaten the game. Hey, we hit the credits though. There we go. <laughs> it's time. Man, this game kind of sucks. Um even viewing it as a person that might be more into this kind of racing game, it's just ugly. It's it's not pretty to look at. Let me double check. What year did this come out? Um, was it F1 World Grand Prix 3? This came out on the Nintendo 64 in 1998. And then on the Dreamcast in 2000, the PlayStation in 99, Game Boy Color, and Windows. Um, yeah, 1998, so it's firmly right in the middle of the N64. 
It's, uh... Yeah. It looks like it got pretty... Eh, ratings. Like, it's got, like, a lot of sevens and stuff. Just, like, okay. But, yeah, comparing it to... To, like, other racing games we've played... The lack of music is always going to be a point off for me. I think it's pretty meh. It's pretty, pretty just meh. It's not like actively bad. It's not for me, which personally, I don't, I'll never touch it again. But overall, it's just, it's just meh. Like if it had good music, it could at least be okay. But it's, yeah. Are there any racing games below it? No. V Rally is also in meh with it. And like World Driver is solid. That was a solid one. And Top Gear is good. Yeah, just sorry. <laughs> sorry, F1. Hopefully when we get around to playing the other F1 game, it'll uh, be better. This is one of those games Down. It's one of the sports series games, which you can tell because it has the black corner in where it's Nintendo Sport when they were trying to push that. Because, like, normal boxes are often just like that, like Nintendo, or it'll, it'll have like the peel and say, like, only for Nintendo on the corner. Which, yeah, I got some more boxes, by the way, um, which I'm super stoked about. This guy's dusty. I need to clean them up and get them ready. Just some empty boxes to go with games I already had, which we've already played Lego Racer and World Driver. So I'll just show those off as didn't have them when we played it, but I have them now. Your passport to racing. As well as, I guess, you know, we played this too. Finally got a box for this bad boy. He's beautiful. I love him. They're not in box protector, so he actually doesn't glare yet. I got to get a box protector for him. Those beautiful screenshots. I love reading the back of old games and stuff like this. And how it sold it. Run freely in a grassy meadow. Tiptoe through a gloomy dungeon. Climb to the top of a mountain. Or take a swim in the moat leap this is also hard to read because it's white on white in some spots leap head first into a watery painting and soon you'll be searching for the surface of an underwater well realm what uh, on the fly 3d rendered gameplay delivers the action of ruthless enemy attacks from every angle what do you mean on the fly Find caps that give Mario superpowers. Ponder the mysteries of the pyramid. You can even race Koopas for fabulous prizes. With the Nintendo 64 controller and its analog control stick, Mario can crawl, kick down obstacles, swim, do reverse flips, and even stick the landing with his backward somersault. Save game information is stored for up to four players in memory. That's great. <laughs> That's great. Because, I mean, like, when it came out, like, you have fabulous prizes. You get a star. <laughs> That's what everything, anything you do in the game gives you a star. Because, um, like, the N64 came out, and you could pick up this, or you could pick up pilot wings. And that was your only options. So, this is definitely the better choice. Yeah, I don't think I have the box for pilot wings. And we also haven't played pilot wings yet. So, we'll get around to pilot wings at some point. All right. Well, we got three games done today. I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, everything else we have right now is a bit longer, so I'm not going to start a new one right now. We had a decent little, almost like a three-hour stream. Um, I was only aiming for two, so three is great. We'll do another one of these in next week. I'm trying to figure out like a regular day to do them. I was leaning towards either Sunday or Monday as like the regular N64 night, probably one of those two. 
Um, Cause that will usually work for me. Uh, we'll lean into one of those two and that'll be the regular night for it. Most weeks. Uh, and next time we'll, maybe we'll do space station, Silicon Valley. Cause that's a game I know nothing about either that or Hercules. One of those two games that I know nothing about at all. Um, I've heard Space Station Silicon Valley is good, and I've heard nothing about Hercules. So, yeah, we'll see. Monday, we did it Monday. I might do it next Monday. That that'll usually be good, a good start to the week, and that way Saturday and Sunday can be other streams if they if they need be. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do we do another one. I'll probably do it next Monday then if that works. I do appreciate you tuning in, and I know you enjoy the N64 streams, Wilkes, so I try to make it accommodating where I can. Um, but let's see. We will also, like I said, Ash and I are trying to plan a... I'm done with that. Um, I'm trying to plan some other co-op stream. We'll probably do just, like, something small, like a one-off deal, because, again, I'm still trying to set up so the audio sounds good because we played Left 4 Dead and yeah, there was some bleeding through and trying to fix that on the fly. Um, we'll try to get some other something on. Might play like Unrailed eh, or something like that. That's just like a quick one-off. We can play it for like two hours, test the waters because I really want to get it honed in and no issues that you're never going to have no issues. As few issues as we can actively see. Um before we go into something more long form, like actually playing through a whole game together. Cause there are things that I think would be fun. Like I said, she might play something and I'm here, uh, but also co-op longer form games, like some of the later resident evils, like playing resident evil five or six and doing co-op with that, I think would also be fun. Cause I've streamed through resident evil five before, but one it's been years and two, I did it solo. Uh, so we might do something like that in the future, but for now we'll do some little one-off short co-op fun games. Um, I will let you guys know when we figure out exactly what and when. Uh, but also, I'll be playing through some more Metaphor this week. And hopefully, I'll grab a copy of Mario and Luigi Brothership to play this week, too. Because Mario and Luigi comes out Thursday. So hopefully, either Thursday or Friday, I'll do a Mario and Luigi stream. And we'll play that. I am so excited for that game. I'm so very excited. I love... I love those games. Like, where is it? It's one of my favorite Game Boy games, the original one. I love this thing so much. Um, and I'm very excited to see what the new one looks like. That's why this guy always sits up there behind me. It's one of my favorite Game Boy Advance games. I hope it's good. Uh, but yeah, that'll be that. We'll, uh, we'll probably play a session or so of Metaphor, and then either Thursday or Friday we'll do Mario and Luigi. I may or may not. There's a game Slitterhead coming out, like a horror horror game, horror-themed game that I'm kind of interested in um, that we might take a look at. Maybe not immediately. Um, but I am interested in it. Because, like, Kira Yamaoka is doing the music, who is the composer for, like, all the Silent Hill stuff. Um, and Toyama is making it, who also worked on stuff like Gravity Rush and games like that. Which I'm, I'm very excited for it. I hope it's good. I don't know much about it. We'll see. We might take a look at it, and if it's really good, we'll play through it. If not, we'll just do the one-off on it. Um, but, yeah, a lot of things going on. A lot of things going on over the next week or so but uh main goals beat metaphor we're gonna keep dumping into that play mario keep doing some n64 again i'll let you guys know as it goes but for tonight i appreciate you all tuning in it was nice to get back to the n64 grind as it were and play through some of these um yeah that's that hope you all have a good night and i will see you next time good night Surprisingly well. Ashley! Ashley! You okay? Yeah. Ow. Ow.
If I, what do you mean? His name's Jump Man. He just jumps. I'm, I'm getting the hang of this now. I'm, I'm figuring it out. I think this is my last life in totality. What happens? All right, are you happy over here? Is this where you want to be? No! Stop healing. Let's go! Yes! Ugh. Holy shit. 